Hey friends, welcome to the part 167. We have uploaded 165, 166 parts in the members area. You have to become Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja members. So then you will be able to access those paid content. The paid content plus free content will help you clear the certification. If you have not yet subscribed, please wait for some more time so that everybody becomes certified except you. So let us plug uh, and get into this question. We are talking about shared responsibility. So in AWS world, it is not like your house where only your wife works and you just sit and eat. It is shared responsibility in AWS. You also have to do something and AWS will also do something for you. So all the orange activities AWS does, all the blue activities you have to do, okay? So you can pause this video, read it. If you want more time, read it, pause and read it, okay? So now we know that we are in a world where everybody has to work, everybody has to share the responsibility. It is not like your house where only your wife does the responsibility, okay? Now come here. What happens is, what is your responsibility? Protecting the global infrastructure? No. You don't even have access. Do you know where are the data centers of AWS? No, only AWS knows it. So if AWS knows it, they will only do it. Okay, see, configure the security used by managed services. Managed services, what is happening? Suppose you order some food from, from a restaurant. That is managed services. How the food was cooked, whether uh, how many kilos potato used, how many kilos onions used, you don't know. That is managed services. So configuring security also is like that only. It is a restaurant. You don't know what goes in the restaurant. You don't know how hygienic the guy is making. You don't know any of this stuff. So that is AWS responsibility because you don't have visibility to that. Patching and backup of Amazon Aurora. See, Aurora is a database okay but it is a managed service from aws anything which is managed that means aws manages it you don't have any access to control it so this is our answer option b configure logical access controls for resources and protect account credentials see what username password you have to keep you decide your password will be your name your country your village etc room and whatever you decide boss that is your responsibility who wants to access you will only decide whom you want to give access, whom you don't want to give access. It is your home, who can come to your home or who cannot come to your home. It is your responsibility. The builder, AWS, the builder has given an allotment to you and handed over the keys. Now it is your responsibility. Okay, now the next question, we are talking about what EC2 instance. When we talk about EC2, it is a compute capacity. It is a compute solution, compute solution, compute solution. What they are telling was, I can afford a restartable. That means if I am working, I'm not working. I'm not an important person. I'm not working anything important. I can afford if the application goes down, taken away from me, I can start the application after two hours. No problem with me, boss. Who Who is like that? Students are like that because they have very less money. Okay, that's why they say, I want the most cost effective solution because they have less money for research, but they still want to use a slice of AWS compute resources. So what it will be most cost effective? Reserve instances, cannot be cost effective boss anything which is reserved or anything that is dedicated to you cannot be cost effective for example when you marry your, your partners are reserved for you okay is that cost effective no boss that cannot be cost effective reserve instances are very expensive why because you have to sign an agreement one year or three years you have to pay for that so that is not cost effective will you imagine that a student with so, so less money somehow he is managing to pay his fees and etc can afford to buy a reserve instance for three years and pay that amount of money no boss so that is a very uh, costly solution on demand instances yes it is cheaper than reserve instances and dedicated host yes boss, it is cheaper but it is still not cheaper than the spot instance spot instance it is cheaper up to 90 percent of you get this and you get all the advantages of hyperscaling the workloads and etc very good for students very good for research very good for infosys people very good for tcs people because you guys do not get any investment from your company so this is something which your company will give you. Boss, use spot instances for any research kind of work. This holds true for any Indian IT firm because the kind of investment that goes to research is negligible. They want big chunk of revenue by spending meager amount of money. So welcome to the Indian IT world. Indian IT world is very happy using spot instances. A lot of people in so many companies, they use spot instances because at a very low value, you get so many things done here. I mean, I really get frustrated when companies do not spend any good amount of money on the research. So that is that becomes a problem. And then they say, then someone like uh, Narayan Murthy will come and say, boss, we need to work 70 hours a work, uh, 70 hours a week. Okay, is that a joke? That is a joke. Okay, you have to pay for 70 hours a week also. Okay, it cannot be in 40 hours only. You have to work 40 hours payment. You work 70 hours. It cannot work that way. Second, I think in in Indian IT companies, people are already working mid at least. 
फिफ्टी फाइव आवर्स वी आर वर्किंग फिफ्टी आवर्स फिफ्टी फाइव आवर्स वी आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग इन फोर्टी आवर सैलरी दैट इज समथिंग विच आई थिंक गुड पोर्सन ऑफ द इंडियन आई टी फॉर्म्स आर वर्किंग नाउ विच ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्विस शुड अ क्लाउड इंजीनियर यूज टू व्यू एपीआई कॉल सी एपीआई कॉल्स एनी एक्टिविटी एक्सेट्रा वी हैव ऑनली वन सर्विस सी क्लाउड ट्रेल क्लाउड ट्रेल वॉट इज दस इज यू हैव ऑल द इवेंट हिस्ट्री ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑल द थिंग्स दैट एपीआई एक्सेस लॉग्स एंड एक्सेट्रा एवरीथिंग इज देर यू सी ट्रैक यूजर एक्टिविटी एंड ट्रैक एपीआई यूसेज दिस इज द सर्विस okay so cloud trail is my answer but you might ask boss what about other things see if you want to know who changed the configuration of ec2 instances by when and etc etc that means that is a audit functionality you can use config config is about configuration config is about configuration you can audit and understand who changed what configuration when why it will not keep a log of the activity artifact it is a security compliance uh, documents or repository all the reports are kept here and you can download the reports accept the agreements and manage notification so it does not keep activity log it does not keep a log of how many api calls who made and what and similarly cloudwatch cloudwatch is a application performance monitoring solution anything you want to monitor you use cloudwatch it can monitor what it can monitor resources it can monitor applications okay like what for example your cpu utilization crosses the threshold of 70% it will monitor and let you know boss you are about to get screwed up your application will go down take some action man so cloud trail is our final answer it has the logs of all the user activities it api calls etc whatever see in real life what happens i have certain applications i make api calls to third party applications why why i am making that because third party applications give me for example currency exchange okay i would not develop an application in house for currency exchange so what i do is i make api calls to the third party application which gives me the exchange rates okay so cloud trail will have a log of that also hey this guy made three calls to the exchange systems through the apis all of these will be logged and it is always to and fro both if somebody is accessing my system through apis that also will be logged here now if you have not yet subscribed do so uh, or probably you can wait for one more year till everybody all everybody becomes certified and then 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 you can you know uh, choose a different field if you have not become a member cloud kernel cloud ninja member uh, you can just opt parts 165 166 we have kept there plus there are so many other paid content we have kept there uh, this playlist will help you uh, become a pro like gain close to full marks and set a very good foundation for aws solution architect associate certification this brings us to the end of part 167 please focus on the concepts only concepts can help you clear the certifications see you in the next part